Hello folks, Michael from MoparPro.com. Today we're going to be discussing my brake tool. This tool measures the di brake drum diameter. It's basically a feeler gauge and it helps you align the brake shoes on your car. So basically I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. This is a disgustingly dirty 1932 Plymouth rear differential, wheel cylinder, brake shoe return spring, grease seal, brake shoes or what's left of them, and here's all the adjustments, yada yada. It's, it's, it's disgustingly dirty, but I didn't have two hours to clean it, so I just wanted to give you a quick rundown. What this tool does is it goes right on the axle, and it helps you align the brake shoe. Uh, I'll try to make it so you can see it. Basically gives you a point of reference to the brake shoe clearance as it hits the drum. The reason these cars don't have good brake feel is because the shoes don't get adjusted right. If the shoes are only hitting the brake drum at a certain angle, so for example, if this side is hitting first and going up, and as this side is hitting down and not hitting it the right way, it's, it's not gonna be good. Okay, getting back to the uh, brake shoes. Okay, so you could see what this tool basically does, and it gives you a point of reference to the location of the shoes and the distance between the drum and the shoe in the backing plate because you can't see it while it's together. So this is really the best, you know, this is, we sell these for cheap money compared to the Amco uh, factory tool. The Amco factory tool is probably five, six, seven, eight hundred if you could find one. Um, you know, so this is a basically a dial indicator and it just helps you look at the adjustment You could see here in the video how I could have a point of reference if see so see how high it is Right here and as I keep going and swooping down It's lower and it's lower and it's lower So this allows me to adjust the brake shoes and dial it in just just right and it goes all the way around as you could see My camera skills today not so good Plus, I'm on a forklift and the whole differential spinning, which is not what I planned on, but you basically get the idea. These tools are available on my eBay store and in MoparPro.com. You can check them out. I just wanted to... I've been trying to make this video for months, but having a video, uh, getting a rear differential in the right position, not so easy. But that's the story. Everyone, have a great Monday. MoparPro.com for all your vintage Chrysler parts. Thank you.